Hi, welcome to We Try. My name is Ethan. And I'm Amy. And today we're going to be talking about a restaurant called Fleming's. So Fleming's is definitely more of an upscale steakhouse. The location that we went to in Birmingham, Birmingham is a really upscale town, a very nice town. And um, so Fleming's felt like it fit right in. It reminds me of just like a classic traditional steakhouse that you would go to. I mean, you, you feel like you want to get dressed up for it. Absolutely. Look at us. So we went for an early dinner time at... The best time to go to dinner. Let's be real. <laughs> like Ethan and I say all the time, we're like... The best time to go out to dinner is that four, five o'clock hour. No one is there. The service is always great. It's the best time. Our reservations were at 530. It was epic. So the atmosphere here, they have like dark wood, you know, leather, really classic steakhouse vibe when you walk in. White linen napkins, white tablecloths, you know, just really classic feel. You felt like you were out for a nice steak dinner on a Friday night. I really enjoyed that. And our server came over. She gave us three options for water. You could have sparkling, you could have flat water or house water. Also, can we talk? What is the difference between flat water and house water? I Still haven't figured it thing. out. I have no clue. I thought they both ran from the tap. <laughs> I thought you had sparkling or flat water, but I That's guess you have house thought. water now as a third option. Drop a comment. What, what is the difference there? What's the difference in the water? Secondly, we had to start with martinis. Obviously. As we always do. So we got two dirty martinis with vodka and with... Lucci's olives. Lucci's olives. So the martinis I thought were great. They were so good. The flavor was epic. One thing I would note is the blue cheese olives were very blue cheesy. They were definitely stuffed homemade, but they weren't like your t the ones that we've had in the prior times. Like you could really taste the blue cheese so she asked if we wanted to have bread service, and we did. I like bread. Ethan doesn't, you know, can't have it with gluten-free. And we went ahead and said, yes, of course, that sounds good. It was more like a French bread, um, nicely sliced. And she brought over two dips. One was butter, and one was like this chive cream um, cheddar sort of spread. It was really good. You tried it too. Mm. Um, I thought it was really flavorful. I didn't even have like the butter because the cheese spread was very good. After the bread was served, then we ordered our appetizers. So the first thing that kind of drew our eyes to the menu was the pork belly. Yum. Anytime there's pork belly on the menu, we have to get it. Love pork belly. Yeah. And this pork belly especially did not disappoint. Super tender, served with grits. It was just a great taste. It was so good. It melts in your mouth. So pork belly is juicy. It's tender. It's melty. It felt so good. And Ethan and I both just ate that up. We were almost licking the plate. It was so good. Also with our appetizer, we got the Fleming salad. So the Fleming salad is really good because it came with walnuts. Mm. It came with Cranberries, cranberries, tomatoes, tomatoes, red onion, drenched in a vinaigrette, a lemon vinaigrette. It was delicious. So of course you all know that we like to have wine with our dinner, especially if we're at a steakhouse. So I ordered a Shiraz, Ethan had a Pinot Noir, and it was just lovely. It was so good with our steak. It had the best red taste and texture. We both just loved our wines. We both sipped our, each other's. And we both said ours was better. So the jury's out, who knows? But I thought mine was great and so did Ethan. I tasted Amy's, hers was good, but I think mine was better. I think mine was better. <laughs> and then for our main courses, so we both had the filet mignon. Mm -hmm. Amy had eight ounce, I had 11 ounce. You got it medium. Yes. I got it medium rare, but both of them were really, really good. So. As far as the steak goes, the steak was just it, so yeah. like melt in your mouth. Yeah, there. it was simple. We didn't get any extra add-ons or toppings or right. anything like that. 
We kept it as is. It was melty, it was yummy, but so flavorful. I love a good steak, especially a filet. So we had to get some sides with our steak. So more like normal steakhouses, Fleming's did have their sides. You had to like order extra. Um, it didn't come like with your steak. And so they had a wide variety of different sides that you could order from, from like potatoes to Brussels sprouts to mac and cheese. And I asked the waitress, I said, I'm leaning towards the lobster mac and cheese or the onion rings. The onion rings I was really intrigued about because it said it came with jalapeno aioli. Mm. I mean, come on. Lobster mac and cheese or jalapeno aioli. She let me know both were epic, but the jalapeno aioli was where it's at. And I was like, bring them over. Let's <laughs> do it. Ethan went ahead and ordered the uh, baked potato with sour cream and butter. Mm. And oh my goodness, that baked potato, I did not try it, but the look of it with the salt, flaky salt on the potato itself was an epic presentation. How did it taste? Yeah, the baked potato was so good. The baked potato was cooked really well, and it was, I liked how much sour cream came on it. That was nice. So we had to end our night. Ethan always, you know, is reluctant on this topic, but she comes around. Would you like dessert? Ethan's like, ha ha, no, no, thank you, no. And I'm always like, well, I'll take a look at the menu. I'll I wouldn't her. eat any dessert if she didn't order it, okay? Okay, but hear me out. I looked at the menu and what stood out to me was the fruit with the Chantilly cream, mm -hmm. which is like homemade whipped cream. She brings it over and she has extra Chantilly cream. Like literally, I thought it was ice cream. I was like, oh, I didn't know it came with ice cream. A whole container of it. And I have maybe like five bites as normal. I like to just have a little bit. Ethan eats the entire dessert. Like, <laughs> and the container of extra Chantilly cream. I look over, I was like, oh, did you eat that at all? He's like, yeah. I probably ate three-fourths of it. I mean, she still ate a quarter of it. Yeah. <laughs> so... For someone that didn't want the dessert, I feel bad he ate it all, but it was really good. I enjoyed my one-fourth of it. I know my limits. Listen, if you get dessert, yes, I will eat it. That's why I don't get dessert, because then I won't eat it. Because really, he knows I will it. It's really it. simple in my mind. But <laughs> It was delicious. It came with pineapple, strawberries, and blueberries, which I thought was really good. It was a nice flavor boost. It was a nice flavor. It was really good. So the service was excellent. Our server was great, offered awesome recommendations, yep. you know, came around often. Our water was constantly getting refilled. That's a key for us. It just made for a really relaxing night. Yeah, I would agree. Everyone was very friendly, very attentive. I think that plays a big factor at the time we go. Thanks for joining us today on our trip to Fleming's. We hope to see you next Sunday for our next video. Don't forget to like this video. Comment below where we should go next. Is there another steakhouse or seafood restaurant you want us to check out? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cheers, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great, great evening. Ethan's out of wine. Oh, He's boy. refilling. Let's refill a little bit for this. Cheers, everyone. Cheers.